Hey financial warriors, welcome to the show. And with Fed rates rising, we are starting to see banks actually offering some kind of half decent interest rates again, and they will be going up further. So in this video, I want to give you some of the best bank accounts offering the best interest rates in August 2022. And we will be mostly looking at accounts that are FDIC insured, since that is what people look for when they think about putting money into a bank account to earn interest versus putting their money into the stock market or cryptos or other more risky things. What FDI insurance is that it insures your money. The US government, in fact, insures your money up to $250,000 per financial institution. So if your bank goes bankrupt, you will get all the money in your account back up to $250,000. And if you have more than $250,000, you need to split it up in different financial institutions. We will try to make this video interesting though and give you some things that you may not have thought of. But first of all, let's look at the usual suspects, the usual online bank accounts and a few banks that give better than average interest rates. So first up, we have Amex Personal Savings at 1.25% but during the time between writing this script and actually filming the video, it went up to 1.4% and then to 1.5%. Then you have Ally Bank at 1.6. Then we have Redneck Bank, which often appears in these lists for its great interest rates. And even though you might not think it's a real bank, but it is in fact a real bona fide bank. He's bona fide. They are offering 1.75% on up to $50,000 in their money market account, 2.25% on balances up to $10,000 in their checking account. It's not checking, it's checking. Then we have Merchant Bank of Indiana, which is offering 2.28% in their money market account. That is 10 times the national average, but let's face it, the national average isn't that good because most major banks <coughs> Chase, uh, are not offering that great of an interest rate. The only requirement with this one is that there is a $50 minimum. But then there is another bank that beats Merchant Bank of Indiana, and that is CFG Bank at 2.55% APY on the high yield money market account. And the funny thing is when I checked it this morning, they actually had a message on there that too many people were signing up and they had to temporarily suspend applications. Anyway, there is a minimum balance to open the account and get that APY rate, and that is $1,000, which if you're looking for a savings account, I mean, let's face it, you should have $1,000, otherwise you're not really saving, are you? <laughs> now I want to give you a couple of other options that do provide a product somewhat similar to a traditional bank account, with some differences. So you may wanna consider the company Save if you want the chance of earning a much higher interest rate with the small amount of risk that you may earn no interest at all. They describe themselves as banking with market returns since your deposits are FDIC insured up to $250,000 like other banks, but you earn interest at a rate linked to the stock and bond markets. You can earn an average return of 4.45% if you keep your money in the account for a year as of July, 2022. Now, if the stock market goes down, it could affect the APY that you receive. However, unlike investing in stocks directly, it will not affect the value of the capital that you have deposited into the account. It only affects the APY. And if the stock market does well, you could earn more than 4.45%. Also, the longer you leave the money in there, the higher the expected return will be. For a two-year term, it is 5.84%. And for a five-year term, the estimated annual return is 9.44% per year. So this is a great option at a time when, although bank interest rates have gone up, it's still only around 2%. So it's nowhere near even beating inflation, let alone earning some money. But with save, you do have the possibility of earning a lot more with the very small possibility that you might earn less or nothing. But when the competition is only 2%, you're not really losing much if the stock market does go down and you lose all your interest in your save account since the competition was only 2% anyway. How much is that even gonna be? On $10,000, that's only 200 bucks that you would earn in interest. And you do have the possibility, and quite high possibility, um, since the stock market does generally go up every year, of hitting that average return of 4.46% or earning even five, six, seven or higher percentages if the stock market does really well whilst having your deposit still FDIC insured like a regular savings account. Now I have actually partnered with Save and we have done a few videos in the past on their credit cards which earn credit card rewards in a similar way linked to the stock market. I do have some money in an account with them and I will put a link below to their market savings account 
for those of you who are interested. Now I have one more for you guys today and this one may scare you because of some recent news stories, but I think it is worth looking into. So, well, you'll see. So what I want to talk about is Gemini, the crypto investing platform and specifically staking Gemini dollar or GUSD for an interest rate. So the fact that we have had several crypto companies go bankrupt this year may influence your thinking on this one. Okay, so first we have the Terra Luna anchor protocol totally collapse. I lost a thousand dollars in that one. But hey, it was an experimental algorithmic stable coin, all right? So going bankrupt was inevitable. But then we have Celsius, which used to offer amazing interest rates on stable coins of 10% or more. That went bankrupt. And then we have the more recent Voyager bankruptcy. So things aren't that good in the crypto industry right now. And thus, the only stable coin, interest earning stable coin that I am willing to take a look at is Gemini US dollar or GUSD because I think it is run by two of the most by the book people in the crypto industry, the Winklevoss brothers. The Winklevi. You know, the ones that Mark Zuckerberg stole Facebook from. And Gemini operates under the New York crypto license, which is the most strict in the whole crypto industry. Right now, you can earn 7.15% interest on Gemini dollar or GUSD through their earn program. Gemini dollar is backed one to one by real US dollars in a bank account, which are FDIC insured. So just holding Gemini dollar um, should be as safe as any bank. But when you lend it out through their earn program and earn an interest rate on it, that does give you more risk, okay? Your APY could go down if a lot of borrowers default or if it gets really bad, you could even lose your deposit. But personally, I do still have quite a lot of faith in Gemini. Not as much as last year. Last year, I kept adding to my account. I think I had $10,000 in there at the peak. I earned $299 in interest. The interest rate was also a bit higher last year. It was over 8%. Right now, I have a little over $1,000 in Gemini dollar in the Gemini Earn program, earning 7%. And as the crypto markets turn around, I'll probably add a few more thousand dollars, but I'm definitely being more cautious than I was last year, and I think you should too. My advice is, and this is not financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor, but my opinion as just some guy on the internet is just keep crypto as a small portion of your net worth, maybe five or 10%. For me, the largest portion of my net worth is in property. Uh, second, it is actually in cash right now. And third, it is in stocks. And then fourth, it is in crypto. Now you may want to consider a combination of the different types of accounts in this video because you may want a portion of your money earning a fixed rate in something super stable. Uh, and then you may, with another portion, want to have something a little bit more risky like the save account where you risk not getting an APY. However, you do have the chance of earning a lot higher and it is still FDIC insured. And then you may also be willing to lock up your money for a period of time as well. We didn't really mention that in this video, but if you are willing to lock up your investment, you could consider uh, government US Treasury I bonds, which currently offer 9%. However, that's probably only going to be the case for about six more months and then it's going to go down. I do have a video about that as well, though, that you can check out uh, on the end card of this video. So a big thank you to Save, guys. You can check out their market savings account down below. I do have an account with them. It is a great product. Please subscribe to our channel if you're new. Let us know in the comments which ones of these is your favorite and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.